friends welcome back to my channel and today is another paint with me session but we'll do things a little differently as usual before we get started I do have my disclaimers first up I live near a major highway here in Belize so you will hear the motor vehicles as they pass secondly I have dogs and they should be quiet right now but if anyone passes near their house they will start barking and thirdly where I live there's a lot of wildlife primarily birds. You will hear them calling, chirping, crying in the background. And there's little I can do about it. Now let's get back to our regular scheduled program. So today we're doing another paint with me session. This is where I use an illustration and use one of the products I've already had. And we're using one of the first art products I've ever had, which is the Sargent Art brush markers and the Milan brush markers. Now let me tell you a little about them, even though I think I've introduced these already previously. Now I've, like I've said, these are one of the first markers or art products that I've ever had. And I acquired them right here in Belize. And they're basically water-based markers with a brush tip. Now these are the Sargent Art. And it's a water-based marker. As you can see, it has a brush tip. And these are from Milan. Now both brush tips are felt and they're somewhat, I won't say hard because they're not really stiff, but they're not really soft either. So they are good in between. And before we do the paint with me session, I wanna go over both of these art products again. Okay, so we'll be testing these art products in seven different categories. We'll be looking at their single layer two layers, blending, a tip 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 method. We're gonna use, see how good they dissolve with water. We're gonna put them on a palette and put a watercolor layer and we're gonna see if that watercolor layer can move. I'm just gonna give you a, a brief overview of how the colors swatch out and to introduce them to you. The Sargent Art comes with 12 colors and this is how they swatch out. And the Milan comes with 10 colors, and this is how it swatched out. As you can see, I also did variation of lines, and I could get very thin lines and very broad lines with the brush tip. It's important to note that on the barrel of both the Sargent Art, Art brush markers and the Milan brush markers, there is no color names. The only color I know with certainty is black but all the other colors, I will not be able to tell you with certainty the, vari the variation of those colors. For instance, green, blues, oranges, browns, and reds. Now for the purpose of this exercise, I will be testing three colors doing these tests. Single layer, two layers, blending, tip to tip, water pole, water color, and water color blend. The three colors that I'll be using is green, their version of light blue, yellow, and for the Sargent Art, it's green, the darker green, their version of light blue, and yellow. Now let's look at the Milan.
okay we're done um after doing this exercise a few things are imminent first of all this is not watercolor paper and so I had to repeat these last three exercises here on watercolor paper and see what their effects are this is the Milan and let's go through it one by one for the single layer it does lay down a very solid single layer although there will be streaking involved two layers now it kind of blends when there's two layers going on the yellow blends into the blue and it also picks up the blue so as you can see I had to take some of it off it blends pretty well but you have to be careful with blending with all water based markers because it does eat up the paper after multiple layers the tip to tip method with the Milan surprisingly it didn't absorb the tip to tip method readily or as quickly as the sergeant art with the water pull as you can see on watercolor paper you you are able to pull out color however the the initial strokes doesn't completely dissolve as you can see you can still see where i made that marking and then pull out color with the watercolor layer it does when you scribble it on a palette you can pick up water from it and with the watercolor blend it doesn't move as readily as other watercolor paints but it does move gradually and it could give you a very light pastel -y effect now let's look at the sergeant art as the Milan it does leave down a pretty solid layer and there will be some streaking involved it doesn't layer readily together and as you can see it does pick up some of the underlying layer when you do try to layer it um, on the top of each other the blending like the Milan it does blend however you will also have to look out for the paper eating because these are water-based markers the tip to tip method I tried as best as possible to leave it for at least three seconds as you can see the sergeant art picked up the tip to tip method more readily than the Milan and it took longer for the tip to come back to its yellow when it comes to the pull we're gonna be using this one the pull out method is also like the Milan it might be a little stronger because I use a little thicker line than I used here but it still pulled out color and like the Milan it doesn't dissolve easily when it comes to layering with watercolors again you can scribble it on a palette and use it like watercolor and it does give you a light pastel -y effect and when it comes to the layering when it comes to the blending with watercolor it does do that too light pastel -y effect but it's very very light because when you dissolve any water based medium in water it tends to dissolve very lightly now having gone through all of that all these tests here we're going to use the tip to tip method the single layering method to color this illustration that is here I know you can't see it, but I haven't lined it as yet I did draw it but I haven't lined it as yet so we'll be doing that and then we'll go into the coloring so let's start the line art Okay, we're finished with our line art and so now let's go into coloring this bad boy.
that's it. I'm finished. And I guess I used these markers a little too much because my brown is already finishing, hence the major streakage what's going on here and my light blue in the Milan. But all in all, I do enjoy using these markers a lot. Um, what can I say about them? I love them. I enjoy using them. I um, use them a lot. And secondly, I don't necessarily do a zigzag um, coloring process with these. I do mostly a streak or a strike and I put the strikes closely together and hence why it does have single streakage. And that's all folks. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode and I'll see you in the, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.